Hey Fit Fam, Coach Rye from Team Flex. We're here today. We're going to be reviewing the Charlotte Cup Pro Bikini. We're going to talk about the winners, the top three basically competitors here, uh, what it means for placings, why they placed the way they did, why we have the winners and in this order, and what that means for criteria. Also, what it means for you as a competitor out there in the bikini division, no matter if it's your first competition, you know, your 15th competition, or you're trying to get your pro card, or you're in the pro leagues. We're talking about the things you want to know on this channel. That's what we do on Team Flex, you know, so make sure you subscribe. Make sure you're uh, paying attention to everything. We got tons of competition coverage uh, in the future as well. So first things first, uh, let's go over the athletes. So Charlotte Cup Pro, you guys, is a great competition that happens, you know, that earns you qualifications to Olympia. So the pros come here and they want to compete and then they compete, they win, they go to Olympia. That's how it works. Uh, and we got, you know, some great athletes in this top three here. Let's go over them. So first we have Brittany right here. So uh, Brittany is our winner. She has taken the cake for the win here at this division. She uh, Then we have Maria over here on this side, and then we have Sharon over here. So Maria is in second. Sharon is our third place. And we're going to kind of just look at their pictures side by side. Thanks to MPC News Online, JM Mannion, for shooting these uh, photos here. Great, awesome photos, you guys. If you ever want to review competition stuff yourself, look at photos. MPC News Online is the place to go. Scorecards as well posted for some events there. As well so really good to look at this lineup here uh you know and see some some newer athletes see a difference of athletes right a lot of people like can think of their favorite like 510 bikini pros and you could probably name off off the top of your head but you know it's great to see other athletes newer athletes climb the ranks too and you know getting these qualifications and seeing what that means for us as you know coaches as competitors as everybody out here so Looking right out the gate, you guys, let's just do a little review. Brittany, uh, you know, uh, is our winner, and she definitely has, in my opinion, on stage, the best hourglass physique. And I think that this is undeniably what really put her in this spot. So bikini, as you know, is everything about symmetry. Up, down, upper body, lower body, left to right, each side of the body, everything has to be symmetrical, and it's all got to be about that hourglass, right? So Brittany has really come in here and done a very, very good work uh, showcasing what bikini criteria is. And that's going to be, you know, that fullness to the shoulder, that tapering at the waist, the small waist, the full developed glutes. We talk about upper glute a lot here. She's got killer upper glute, very, very full. Uh, the quads and the hamstrings, you know, to match the lower body, but not overpower, not take away from everything else we're seeing here. So very, very good physique for her. Uh, very good physique also for Maria over here. You know, she's got a little bit less of shoulder development, so it's not as dramatic. Her waist looks a little bit wider here, but she's still got a very good hourglass shape, a lot of good glute shape, a lot of hamstring, a lot of quad. All of this is still there, you know, to say this is a very good bikini physique for the pro leagues, for anybody. Uh, it's symmetry, it's shape, it's everything that you want to see in bikini. I think that, you know, where she kind of got edged out a little bit by Brittany is in maybe needing a little bit more shoulder development also could be a little bit posing tweak I think I think if she adjusted her posing just a tad she could narrow in that waist a little bit more look a little bit wider up top and that may have really put a differential in we're all, we're talking about by the way in these placings points points you guys just points like this is not dramatically like oh you know there was obviously other athletes besides top three and they didn't place the top three right so these are just points apart these couple pro, uh, top three placings basically okay so then we look over here at Sharon now Sharon has a little bit of a different uh, physique look to her right so still very bikini we still got good shoulder shape with taper lower body uh, looks very dominant though in my opinion so I think that's kind of what put her down into that that third slot here a little bit too dominant in the lower body I think her quads kind of overpower her whole physique there glutes a little bit too on honestly from this perspective especially and that is something that can definitely if you have the symmetry thrown off right that's a factor that can be a factor for a bikini so make sure if you're a bikini athlete out here training you want to make sure you're trying to get the most symmetrical physique you can and we look at Brittany here in this front pose you definitely see it's a very very symmetrical bikini look I mean, it's the shoulders match the glutes and the quads match the glutes and the hamstrings match, you know, the shoulder. Everything is there in the way it needs to be. But again, we're only looking at the front so far. So let's take a look from the back. As I always say on this channel, uh, you know, bikini is one from the back in a lot of ways. Every division 
pretty much even the men's divisions are all one from the back. So this is where we really get to see again here where Brittany stands out in my opinion. Um, and let's talk a little bit about it. So Brittany here, she's got, you know, again, the fullness to the shoulder, that full shape. She's creating that width. Really good tapered look here. Even though you can't really see her waist as much, you know that's tapered. You can see you know, a little bit of that lat flare, which, you know, judges are not scoring the lats. They're not looking for this, but it can enhance the shape, which can indicate to them, all right, maybe there's a really good taper going there, which again is hourglass, ladies and gents. So that's something you want to be aware of. Um, and lower body wise, you know, good upper glute shape. You're not losing the upper glute here. It is clearly there. We can see it. You got the tie-ins going in here, that soft separation that just want to, judges want to see that slight separation, right? It's not a super chiseled deep look. It's just that slight separation between the uh, glutes and the hamstrings, something that judges want to look for. Her quads do not overpower her back pose. However, we can see that there's muscle there. This is good because because Bikini again, you know, it's all about shape. You want to have that shape. She's got a very symmetrical physique even here, um, and it looks really, really on par. Now, let's look over here at Maria. So, Maria again has a nice shape. Everything's there again, just points away from Brittany at this point. Um, where I think Maria kind of got a little bit, you know, out of balance here is, uh, you know, in the shoulder zone. Like I, I mentioned, uh, she might need a little bit more shoulder in the front. I think that's what she kind of did here because in the back pose, her lower body looks too dominant, okay? It looks like, you know, she's got a little bit too much glute development and everything like this would be great glute development, great quad development, great hamstring development for bikini if she was just a tad little bit more uh, developed up top, in my opinion, okay? So I think if she had just a little more shoulders, looks a little bit more symmetrical, could have bridged the gap to get to that point, uh, but she does look lower body dominant in this pose, which is not symmetry, which is not then in that case, the best scoring for bikini. Okay, and then we look over here at Sharon, and Sharon, uh, again, you know, very interesting how dominant Sharon looks from the front pose lower body, not how dominant she looks from the back. So this is a kind of interesting disproportionate uh, lower body dominance where looks very dominant in the front due to the quad, I think is what we're seeing, like a lot of development of the quads obviously you're not going to get those quads in the back so that's kind of what's taken away but still here we can see them a little bit uh you know that fullness too much a little too much for her and you know not the depth of the glutes so it's kind of interesting how dominant her quads are compared to the glutes because we're not getting a lot of depth we can see very slight tie in here um and this is probably just because she has a lot of mass lower body it's not showing as much tie in it's not showing as much you know separation in other words because the hamstrings are are actually very developed with the glutes at the same time which can push in this sense not showing us enough you know so uh, very dominant in the glute shape from the front not as dominant in the back it kind of gets washed away due to the fact that everything is so developed so it's really interesting to see how the physiques can you know vary from one look to another so maybe some posing tweaks here for Sharon um, also I would say you know she probably needs to add a little bit of depth actually shape to her physique versus just muscle mass so that's again how I think she's going to climb ranks but again Brittany you know Know, very clear hourglass physique clearly the most symmetrical physique um, and she's fitting criteria you know conditioning wise all three ladies are pretty on par you know Sharon looks like she maybe you might think look at Sharon and think she has deeper cuts and everything it's really just more the glaze on her you know that's showing up a little bit differently in this lighting that makes it look like that however all these athletes are very on par with their conditioning which is again for bikini you know these soft lines and like the oblique a little bit of separation in the glute a little bit in the hamstring and quad but never deep cuts never deep striations never graininess you know all that and of course when we talk about conditioning from the back we're talking mainly about seeing a little bit of hamstring lines here then this separation glute uh, tie-in glute hamstring tie-in in other words so again all athletes pretty on par with conditioning some slight differences in muscle base that I think could make a difference and this is a clear message from the judges by the way ladies that uh you know muscle is still king and queen in bikini you gotta have these things if you want to have it i mean the bikini physique really comes from shape it comes from structure it comes from that muscle development it does not come just from you know being lean it does not come from just training a little bit you know there's a lot of misconceptions out there in the space uh, i see even coaches that like coaches that coach primarily men they don't coach bikini stuff like that they think that the bikini physique is not even you know a, a physique you have to really train for which blows my mind because you do definitely have to follow very regimented training you got to lift weights
weights. You got to do all these things and do it for a long time as well as follow a good diet and, you know, honestly, health practices, get your sleep, your water, all that, right? So it is a very specific look and a very specific way and very hard to attain this look uh, any other way. But again, this is a message from judges, in my opinion, saying we really like that shape. We like seeing that muscle on our bikini athletes. Bring that muscle, just bring it in the right proportion, right? And so that's kind of how Brittany comes in here and she takes a cake at the Charlotte Cup Pro. So uh, that's another one down, you guys. Another competition reviewed. Let me know what you think here. Do you agree with Brittany winning in this uh, top uh, three here, or do you like uh, maybe Maria's physique a little more, maybe Sharon's a little bit more? Let me know what you guys think. I want to know um, your ideas, your opinions. Do you like the idea and the direction Bikini continues to head, or do you think we're going into uncharted territories, okay? And I want to know in the comments. Let me know, and if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do. We will be back with plenty other coverage of competitions coming more and more, and if you have any you specifically would like me to do reviews of, because obviously I cannot do every single one that's out there comment it below as well and i will do that for you and we'll talk more about it all right thanks